Good afternoon. Statistics reveal there's an increased number of snatch teeth in these past years. The problem of snatch teeth is obviously widespread in an urban area. Snatch teeth has resulted in many deaths. Two snatch teeth on motorcycle did it again. In Johor Bahru this morning, Jamila Slama, a pregnant mother, suffered severe head injuries and died after falling from her motorcycle. The current anxiety about this crime have caused public concern. Our reporter did a survey. There is a sudden surge in the reporting of snatch tea crime. Many have caused fatal deaths, which is uncalled for. Let's hear what people have to say about it. Saya rasa lah kan, kehiragut ni makin naik sebab dia orang ni ambil jalan pintas aja. Ha, dia tak nak bekerja, ha, dia nak jalan, jalan nampak saja orang terus dia ragut. Ha, dia nak nak duit, nak duit sangat kan. To 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 support family and also sometimes you know when they're in desperate of cash they would and they would like buy drugs and stuff so they would want to kill out desperation, desperation. Mong kau dekat gigi tu lor kau dekat ayo cuci kau dekat makan dia hangai lor kau dekat mui cuma cuci dia dah ada tangga kau lor. They are doing enough because you can't expect everybody, all the police will be wandering around 24-7. Uh, they are limited people to uh, accommodating to uh, unlimited people in the world. Jail term or rotan or something so that people will uh, know more about this thing. I'm indicating the people uh, to be more wary towards these things that happen to prevent it. Like uh, not to walk around with the bags hanging all around while swinging around. I'm Dini, reporting live for IACT TV. Well, what you have to say? We now have our weekly forecast update. Most of today and tomorrow, you'll be experiencing a hot and windy day with a temperature of 78 degrees. On Wednesday, there will be thunder and lightning with some shower here and there. On Thursday, there will be a cloudy day and Friday, get your umbrella ready for a wet day. Every year, more than 5 million people worldwide die from the effects of tobacco and tobacco smoke. Every 6 seconds, someone dies of tobacco-related disease. Today, we celebrate World No Tobacco Day, an awareness program created by the World Health Organization in 1987 to draw global attention to the widespread prevalence of tobacco use and negative health effects. Our Malaysian Health Ministry also have started the Tanak campaign. Have this campaign achieved results? Let's find out. Cigarette is the only legal consumer product that kills when used. To quit smoking and encouraging smokers to create the habit is not an easy task. Are people really innocent or are they not care about their health? We catch up with some consumers. After you know, you've been working a lot, so you take a cigarette, then okay, I guess. Uh, stress uh, related, lah, I should say. You know, those people have more stress uh, rather than smoking alone. Uh, you know, if you have stress mentally, I think you will kick the bucket sooner or later. Lah, you know. Uh, it's mo much more harmful than holding a cigarette, I think. Paru-paru. Uh, cancer prostate. Dan macam-macam lagi lah. Sama siapa pun yang kerajaan dia menggalakkan. Jadi pulang kepada orang merokok lah. Tapi memang dia galakkan berkempen kan. Pulang lah. Pulang. Saya tak boleh katakan salah. Tapi memang rokok ni penyakit kan. Jadi dia pulang kepada individu. I'm Julian Ng, reporting live for IACT TV. A 2008 survey revealed that nation spends RM 8.6 million on 33 million sticks of cigarette daily. Nicotine is a highly addictive substance and a killer. Why not join the Tanak campaign and quit smoking now? Have any comments or feedbacks? Log on to IACTTV.com.my. I'm Nira. Have a good day and stay tuned.